A group under the aegis of the Forum of Middle Belt Youth Presidents has called on the federal government to not only condemn the unending atrocities being perpetrated by armed herdsmen, but order the immediate arrest and prosecution of the leadership of Mieti Ala, Keutal Hori and other Fulani social cultural groups that have consistently admitted to the wanton killings and destruction of communities across the country. The forum made the call at the end of a one-day meeting which reviewed the security and economic situation of the Middle Belt states, noting that ranching remains the only viable solution to the problem. Correspondent Nkiru Oguli has the details. Briefing newsmen on the 25-point communique, the president of the forum, Terence Kwanim, urged President Muhammadu Buhari to uphold his oath of office so as to be seen as being fair to all. The forum urges the federal government to proscribe all mili um, militant Fulani groups, as was done in the case of independent peoples of Biafra, given that the global terrorism index has repeatedly ranked Fulani militia as the fourth deadliest terrorist group in the world. Similarly, other extremist groups should also be proscribed. The forum call on Mr. President to uphold the oath of office as president of all Nigerians and to lead in accordance with the provisions of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He must be seen to be the president for everybody and for nobody. The forum largely blamed successive administrations for the region's wars, while commanding Governor Samuel Otam of Benue State for enacting the anti-open grazing laws in the state and urged other governors in the region to do the same while embracing ranching as is acceptable in Sena climes. The forum acknowledged and unanimously commends His Excellency Governor Samuel Otum of Benue State for championing the cause of equity, fairness and justice as the leading voice of the voiceless in the country. The forum encourages Governor Otum to remain steadfast and not to be discouraged by the campaigns of blackmail launched against him and his administration by enemies of peace. The forum highly commend Governor Otum for his bold step in identifying with NSAS protesters in his state last year and his prompt decision to organize the Benue Youth Summit to address the challenges facing the young people of Benue State. The forum salutes the statesmanship and patriotism of some of the sons of the Middle Belt, like Governor Samuel Otum, Dr. Obadia Mailafia, Air Commander Don Suleiman, and His Eminence Bishop Matthew Hassan Kuka who have chosen to stand on the side of the truth and justice and have taken to it upon themselves to stand for the, our people, even when it was not fashionable to do so. It was, however, not so for the governors of Plateau and Kaduna states. The forum berates the governor of Kaduna state over his handling of security situation in his state, particularly the terrorist attack taking place in southern Kaduna, where hundreds are killed on a daily basis. The meeting also condemned the sacking of thousands of civil servants by the Kaduna state government decision, a decision that was apparently targeted at the people of the southern part of the state. The Middle Belt Youths call on the resignation of Governor Samuel Lalong as chairman of the Northern Governors Forum for failing to coordinate his colleagues to bring a solution to the security challenges in the North and give way for a more competent person to lead the forum. While sympathizing with families of victims of attacks carried out by herdsmen, bandits and other terrorists operating in the Middle Belt, the forum resolved to step up advocacy through conventional means and the social media for the emancipation of the Middle Belt people from the shackles of oppression, intimidation and suppression. Nkiru Obuli. Reporting for Clairview Television.